Okay, let's see what question number five is on today's new insert. Um, the derivative. So if I just change that to x power minus one, then the derivative would be bring down the power, reduce the power by one. Bring down the power, reduce the power by one. So it's two x plus one over x squared. Yeah. F of x is that cubic. X plus one is a factor. Find the three values of x. Okay, so we're given a factor and we have to solve it. Perfectly standard algebra question. Bit of long division here. So we know what one of the answers is already, minus one. Uh, divide that into 2x cubed minus 21x squared plus 40x plus 63. That's going to be 2x squared. That's going to be 2x cubed plus 2x squared. Subtract minus 23x squared plus 40x minus 23x minus 23x squared minus 23x. That's 63x, carry that down, that's nice, leaving me with a 63 there. And then um, you can see what's going to happen. We'll get remainder zero, as we should. And then we just have to solve that quadratic. And we get 7 and 9 over 2. If we factorize that, uh, the factors are x minus 7 and 2x minus 9, by the way. Just check something here. Yep, that's good for part one. Find the range of values of fx for which f dash x is negative correct two decimal places. So the derivative to be negative. So the derivative would be 6x squared minus 42x plus 40 to be negative. Now, I know I'll have to use the quadratic formula because it says two decimal places. So using the quadratic formula here, Um, yeah, you get x equals ugh, 21 plus or minus root 201 over 6. So there's two solutions here, and we want to be negative, so we want to be under. So the x has to be between these two values to two decimal places. Yeah. 5.9, uh, no, 8.7, eight, Stephen. No, 8.6, what am I doing? I'm tired, that's what I'm doing. Yep. Um, yep, that's question five done on today's uh, exam.